my lovely Capricorns. So for this week, first of all, some of you Capricorns can be getting a present and this present can come from like a coworker, somebody who really like loves you and sees you and notices that you are so strong no matter what you go through. This can be a coworker that they feel like you deserve so much more just because you have such a big heart. So be prepared for that Capricorn, a gift. Um, another thing as well, you, you have an ex who's spying on you like crazy and they could be paying to get readings on you and they could also be trying to like do whatever it takes to manifest you back. This ex misses your attention, um, and has suspicions that you are moving on. It doesn't matter. Some of you Capricorns, I see you being single. Like some of you are actually single and you just want to be to yourself for now. You could still be healing from your past and just focusing on your finances. For other of you Capricorns, if you are dealing with anyone, I don't see it being like a serious connection as of yet. But this is what your ex is afraid of, like you moving on. And also you proving them right. You, you know, you guys could have gotten into an argument. They could have made it seem as if you will never, ever find anybody better than them. And they're afraid that you are going to prove them right, that you will bounce back twice as hard, especially since you're quiet. There's something to do with you being quiet. Like you're not saying anything to them. You're not reaching out to them. For some of you, you could have blocked them. So they don't really know what you're up to, but they're just assuming that there's somebody in your bed. There's somebody who is with you. There's somebody who's trying to make you happy. And just that very thought is actually triggering this person um, where they're they're obsessing over you more and more and more and more. It's like the more that you take your energy away from them and you start to focus on yourself, it's the more your ex starts to focus on you. So let's let's see. Some of you two, you're going to be axed out to dinner. Yeah. See, <laughs> things came out into the light when it comes to your ex. You found out about who this person really is. And this is the reason why you're standing your ground. You don't even trust them anymore. You do not trust them anymore. And you are moving on. So look at that. You're moving on. Um. And this person is still very attracted to you. This person is still very tempted by you. This person is nosy. They want to know what's going on. They're also going through a lot of financial losses. And they feel like you have more money. That you have more of a firm foundation. All right. This person can even be struggling with their home. Now, there's two things with struggling with their home. They can be struggling to maintain payments to their home. They can be on the verge like they could be afraid that they're going to get evicted or lose their home if they if they purchased a home and they see you as like a firm foundation. You know, you could have been better with finances than this ex was, you know, um, some of you, you lost a lot of respect for this person. That's what I hear. That's why you will never go back to them because you feel like you lost a lot of respect for them. So if you see this person popping up in your dreams or just randomly popping up in your mind and if you have a lot of anger attached to it that's the reason why they're trying to manifest you they want see look <laughs> you can't make this up look they still they want to make love to you so bad they miss touching your body they're getting readings on you they're trying to see what's up with you Look at that. They're still thinking about the last time you guys made love or how it was to make love and touch your body. This person is going crazy over you. Like deep down inside, they're they're never going to tell you this, but you are the only person to give them like a peaceful, good love. You know, let me see what this person would say. And then I'm going to move on from their energy because I will not like take up the whole reading going over an ex. But this came up when I was meditating on your sign. I knew it. I'm not financially stable. I told you this person can be on the verge of losing their house. And do I still have a chance? They still want to know if they have a chance. And you broke my heart. They're heartbroken. 
and I compare others to you. That's so obvious that they compare others to you because right here it shows the harmony that you gave them. You gave them peace, harmony, and love that they've never experienced before. So that's why they're comparing others to you. A part of me feels like they could have been even in competition, like wanting to move on before you do, but it didn't work out that way for them. All right. Some of you too, you could be meeting somebody who actually has more money and this person could have like put up a front. They could have made it seem like they come from wealth or what they're doing, they're going to be really wealthy from and it didn't turn out that way. You could be meeting someone who is going to be more financially stable and who can help you. Not to say like you need financial help. Not everybody needs financial help. But this is just going to be a person that would like to step up to the plate financially and be a provider for you. All right. That's what you have coming your way out of your options. Because a lot of you, a lot of you Capricorns, I see you see you're making sacrifices. You're cutting off anybody who is a liar. You're cutting off anybody who's deceptive. You're cutting off anybody who claims they're one thing but shows up in another way you're just cutting off fake people and some of you you can't even fake it anymore like you are not even interested in a lot of people from your past and this could be friends as well some of you even family members it doesn't have to just be a lover it could be friends and family members and a past lover who you felt was just envious of you and just deceptive some of them even competing with you all right um so for you, Capricorn, money, see, look at you. You you are sick and tired of being sick and tired with rage. It's like you're you're over this season. You're over people who deceive you. And once again, when it shows like divine lineage, it can even be people in your own family that you felt deceived by. And you can just be disappointed. And this is what you're surrendering. You're sacrificing it. You're letting it go. And you're just going to focus on the desires of your heart. The desires of your heart is what you truly want. It could have took some of you a while to get over this as well. You could have tried to go back and make it work with this person a few times. And this is the only reason why they're still in your energy. Um, I hear drunken love. This person could be singing love songs and getting drunk and thinking about you. <laughs> Let me see what else is going on. This is so weird, but if any of you have an older daughter, you might find out that your daughter is pregnant by somebody that you were hoping they wouldn't get pregnant by if you have an older child. But yeah, what's what's coming on your journey is like a soulmate. This is something that you have been waiting on. Like somebody who's honest, somebody who's devoted and loyal. Somebody who will work with you and not work against you, you know. Now, if you don't have this love right now, it's just only because of the fact that you are still overcoming an ending. And what what. Because of what you've been through in the past, it's almost like it's hard for you to trust people. You don't really trust people like that. You take your time when it comes to love. You don't rush into love anymore. You do not rush into love. You take your time to like get to know people and see if what they say and what they do is in alignment. Because you could have found a lot of fake people that will tell you one thing but then do another. See, you're releasing anybody that causes you drama and stress. And I feel like your your ex was really full of drama and stress. And sometimes they could have even made you feel like you had to compete for their heart. You had to uh, compete for their attention. You had to compete for their time. They could Some of them could have had you in a third party. But look, for you, it shows Ace of Cups. So you do have a new beginning. You do have a new beginning in love. And it could be a fire sign. It could be um, also that came out was a cancer. But this could be a Sagittarius, a Leo or an Aries. It doesn't have to be a Sagittarius, e Aries or Leos. But the Queen of Wands normally represents a, a fire sign. But this can be somebody who's just very, very confident, intelligent, warm and graceful. Look, King and Queen. Let me see. Seven of Swords. Let's see what the Seven of Swords is about.
you know what the seven of swords can be too like capricorn if you are speaking to someone new i feel like you just want to take your time because you don't want to be deceived again you're taking your time and you're still trying to overcome betrayals from your past and you see the potential that this person has to offer you it shows a wish comes true a love life you see the potential that this person has to offer you but i feel like you're some of you two are going green you could notice yourself juicing more and others of you you could be struggling to find a new job or struggling to find a job at all um but anyway, and that's only some of you. Some of you, may, you might be fully employed, but some of you could be struggling to find like new work. Or if you're at a job, it's like you want to leave, you want to leave that job and find a new job. Um, and it's taking you some time to find a new job. So you have to stay where you are for now. But yeah, it shows that you've been deceived a lot in the past. And that's the only reason why you, you want to take your time. Some of you Capricorns with the King of Wands too, you could be uh, contemplating not to say like being a player, but just entertaining your options and not really settling down with anybody yet. Even though you may see one of your options as a strong potential, you may be in a place where you just don't want to commit to anybody. You want to take your time. You want to take your time. All right. Let me see what else is coming in for you. Some of you have a ride or die best friend who's going to like, ooh. Some of you have a ride or die best friend that is going to, um, you guys can spend a lot of time this week going out, especially if you haven't seen them in a while. You guys can be catching up. You guys can be taking pictures. But yeah, this new person that's coming into your life, they're going to be thinking about you a lot. They're going to really want to uh, work on this. They're going to have a lot of feelings of like love and passion for you. And it shows commitment at the end of the deck. At the end of the spread, it shows commitment. So if you are dealing with somebody and you feel a connection, I hear like you don't want to force nothing. You're not trying to force anything, you know, it's just like you, you see the potential that you two have. You don't want to force it. You want to take your time, but this does have the potential to go to commitment. Um, let me see what else is coming out for you. Yeah. Liberation just means you're freeing yourself. You're freeing yourself from deceptive people. You're freeing yourself from snakes and fakes. Some of you are going to be getting some really, really good rest, especially if like a lot of things were on your mind and you felt stressed out about your future. I see you getting more rest and being OK with being by yourself. Some of you could have struggled with that, like especially after coming out of a commitment that you thought would last longer. You could have struggled to be by yourself and now you're coming to a place where you feel OK being alone for now. You feel okay with taking your time and love and not having to like rush. You feel really okay. Yeah, it shows balance. It shows balance and it shows that there's lots of options that are coming towards you when it comes to love. And once again, it shows how teachable are you. So I just feel like with how teachable are you, you could have had the same lesson, the same lesson reoccurring in your dating life. All right. And then it shows you with connections. You could have been connected to people who kept like showing you the same spiritual lessons over and over and over again. So let's see what was that lesson. So you have a new connection coming in. People who had codependency issues, people who... Or trying to control you. Controlling, manipulative people that you kept attracting in. And this is you setting your intentions high. And it shows the connection supports healing energy. So you're going to have more balanced connections. And for some reason, more fun. Like you're going to have more fun in your connections. I don't know if you had relationships that were just like full of arguing and full of like drama 
or or people who are in denial or people who are passive aggressive or people who would hold back and try to gaslight you it's like you're gonna you're gonna come to a place where your love life or your dating life is gonna become more fun more adventurous um let me see what else is coming out for you when it comes to work Some of you can even be in the house this week watching a lot of movies. Some of you are watching a lot of movies this week. Yeah. With work, it shows a rebirth. See? If some of you were looking for a job, I don't see it happening right now. It shows nothing. And that's only for some of you that were looking for a job. All right. You're still going to be searching. I still see you in a place where you're putting out your application and you're trying to find a job that will pay you what you are worth and also an environment that brings you peace. I don't know if in the in the past you could have been in a toxic environment. For others of you, you could be working right now in a friendly environment. But you're looking for more money. All right. Just be careful of procrastinating when it comes to like your work or your paperwork or your projects, especially if you're in school. Some of you could be students and you can be procrastinating on papers that are due. Like spirit wants you to trust yourself more and trust that all will be well when it comes to your finances. Let me see what else for you. Yeah, some of you are going to need to take some time to sleep. I am with you, giving you the courage to make changes. So you're going to see the number 555 five, five on the clock a lot. It's because you're going through deep changes, all right? And Spirit wants you to know you deserve the best. So reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. Stand stand in what it is that you really want to do. Don't give up. And when you're when you when you feel yourself tired, like take a break and sleep. It just shows, though, that you're going to get a lot of rest and watching movies. All right. If this reading resonated with you, I'm going to do a full spread on the new person on the extended, as well as giving you messages about your family and your friends. I send you so much love and light.